Is it me? He's frozen right now. <laughs> oh man, I want to videotape Chang's face. This is great. I'm gonna take a picture. <laughs> Dude, you're going just from like you're going from like laughing to like yeah i'm gonna try this i'm gonna try my phone and because we have a backup and hopefully yeah phone will work <laughs> either way i think we air this is this working better it was that for like um I'm gonna drive to a place where I know I'm gonna get. Should, how much longer do I have? Whatever you want. I'm gonna drive to the liquor store because I can use their Wi-Fi there. It's five. It's like like three minutes away. All right, calls in three minutes. We'll be here. <laughs> Does this work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of works. I'm like halfway to the liquor store then. <laughs> how did you know that? <laughs> How did you know the liquor store had Wi-Fi? Because uh, there was a thunderstorm a couple a couple weeks ago. It was the only place that I could use it. And uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm in an action movie right now or something. It's, <laughs> it's like the movie Speed. If you don't make it there in four minutes or less, the interview is over. Holy cow. It's coming through pretty good. Let's just, I'll, I'll just try to continue the interview just a little bit. Just why not? Until we get okay. there. Okay. Uh, have you been? You you. How, how's the? Where are you quarantined? You're you're not familiar with this. It's not your home. No, I'm not in my home. I have a bunch of relatives with me because they came over on March first for my son's birthday, and um, I I I needed a place to like crash. So I asked a friend because I couldn't have everyone at my apartment because everyone was stuck. They couldn't fly back to Korea. How many how many Korean people there's, do you have in your house? There's six six relatives. <laughs> that's how you know where the liquor store is yeah <laughs> how's the baby that's awesome he's one year old he is one oh. and he's the best are you taking advice from people my advice is do not take any advice from anyone <laughs> you know what privately that's been my advice too right like he's like if someone gives you a tip you're like yeah 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 and then you're like no no, no i'm definitely not doing that I heard that you're you're not even you're not even cooking that much when you when you're at home. Yeah, you know, you know, as a professional cook, I never ever cooked at home. Do you have any kitchen kitchen tips or tricks or something that we're not using? You go, dude, you should use that. It's so simple. The one thing that I am a huge huge proponent of is the microwave, and I cook with the microwave a lot, a lot. You'd be so shocked at how much microwave cooking I do. What? Wait, yeah. this is coming from David Chang? Yeah, it's the machine from the future here in present day. And listen, I've never even cooked at home. So I'm literally learning how to cook like no one's ever cooked before because I've never read any home cookbooks, but I know how to cook professionally. And it just it saves so much time. Like if I have frozen meats, I pop it in the microwave and then I'll finish it on the pan or an oven. Or if I need to reheat something, obviously. But if you just put a head of broccoli or cauliflower on, a, on like a glass plate and you microwave for like eight minutes, 10 minutes, perfect. Perfectly steamed. Yes. This, because this is, I, I was going to show you something that you gave me. I don't know if you remember giving me this gift. You give me many gifts throughout the years. Do you remember giving me a thing called the Sears off? Yeah. You still using it? <laughs> Dude, I almost <laughs> burned my apartment down. <laughs> Here's what I, I sous vide my steak, and then I, in honor of you, in slow mo. What? Hey, you're getting that nice Maillard reaction. That is. That's something else. I just wanted to show you that I am using the gift that you gave me, and I made it pretty awesome. Whoa, look at that perfect mid-rare. Right? Hey, you don't need any tips from me. You literally have figured it all out yourself. <laughs> no, dude, I tried to use it for s'mores once. I didn't realize how, how David Chang it was. It's next <laughs> level. You can't make it's a blowtorch. It is a blowtorch. Uh, I heard that when you hired people to work in your restaurant, um, that sometimes you make them just cook an omelet for you. Why, why an omelet? Um, cause that's an old school French thing that they would do to test. Like it would be your job interview. And I always like to take from the elders, you know, and 
And it's not about them making a perfect omelet. It's literally, how are they approaching it? How serious do they take it? Are they organized? Are they meticulous? Do they try to scrape out every little bit of the egg? Do they cut the butter into nice little squares? And it may taste terrible, quite frankly, but it shows me a lot about like how serious they want to do this. I love to see, I always, there's something, see, there's, there's geniuses, there's always like another motive to all this stuff. So I was like, you can't just be eggs, because although it's great to cook an egg, but I, I want to show you how I do mine. This is how I make my egg. I have a silicone ring. What? What's the and purple put, thing? No, it's a, it's a little egg, and you put the egg in the silicone ring so that it, it's perfectly circular and fits on an English muffin. Then you cut around that, and then you put cheese on, on that dude. But then I go, how do I melt the cheese? Here's where you'll hire me, I think. I have no top for the pan. Hot on pan. Wow. Hey, Jimmy, when I get back from this liquor store, I'm going to microwave an egg and I'm going to send it to you. I'm telling you, it makes the perfect shape for a microwave egg. You put it in a little coffee mug, it works out perfectly. Oh, you got to send me the photo. Hey, uh, uh, Chang, what, what, are we, what are we doing about the, uh, the restaurant industry? How do we help? What do we do, bud? Um, I think there's several things. One is if you're in a place where you can order, order from directly from the restaurant. Don't use the delivery apps if you can. Secondly, call your senators and congressmen because uh, restaurants are going to need continued help. Uh, the people that work in the restaurants, that, that's the main focus. The restaurants will figure out as we move forward, but the people in need are the hourly employees uh, that, that need assistance. And there's, there's a, a bunch of charities. Uh, one of the charities that we're, we're promoting is the Restaurant Workers Community Foundation. And uh, they teamed up with uh, the Great Southern Smoke in Texas, and it's giving money directly to the workers. And that's what we can do right now, and 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 just hope for the best. Uh, we put that Chiron on the screen, so anyone at home, if you type that in, you can you donate anything you can give would be fantastic. That is, that would be uh, even if you can give one dollar, it goes a long way to helping everybody uh, trying to survive and get through this uh, uh, crazy pandemic that we're going through. Um, I, I want to, uh, I want to, I want everyone to be safe. I want everyone to be working again. I want to go to restaurants again. But we got to take our time and do it the right way and be safe. I mean, Jimmy, I wish you were uh, our, our elected official because that's better advice than I think we've been getting from a lot of people. <laughs> I'm staying in, man, but I will do my part. I will get delivery, and I have been every single day. Even if I don't eat the food, I freeze it. So then I can eat it the next day or for lunch or whatever. I'm just trying to support. Use your leftovers. I think uh, this is going to make people better home cooks for sure. Uh, Chang, I expect a photo from you of a microwaved egg, and I also want to see what you pick up at the liquor store once you get there. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, hey, man. man. I miss you. you. Kiss, that, kiss that baby. I will. Thank you, guys. Bye, buddy. Uh, uh -huh.